Okay, so research suggests that you can determine whether someone is a narcissist with one question. Yes, my friends, one question. And you know what? This research has proved it. So it is a thing. If you wanna know what it is, watch this video. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. So no, this isn't clickbait. This one question will determine whether this person is a narcissist. This research study has been done um, not so long ago. Don't know the actual date, but if any of you do, or I'll put it in the description box below, it's usually commonly used to measure narcissism, which, you know, like they needed to do something like this because they needed to understand the actual diagnosis and put more information, more research out there because there really wasn't m much of it up until now. But nevertheless, let's get into the video. Just quickly, before we do, just want to quickly mention, I do go live on this channel at the end of the month on a Tuesday, the last Tuesday of every month. Got a question, there's something on your mind, come on over to the live. Um, it is a vibe, we've got a few of us on there. It'd be really lovely to see you so come on over oh and do check the community tab because like i put out there when i'm going to be going live and do press the bell button and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to like the video too okay so one question that will determine whether someone is a narcissist is to what extent do you agree with this statement i am a narcissist and so respondents are rated um, on a scale between one and seven. One being not very true of me and seven being very true of me. This is based on the idea that narcissists who often see their narcissistic trait as a positive thing and are generally willing to acknowledge it. So that is the one question that you can basically ask someone how narcissistic do they actually feel because they see it as a good thing. So this method has been known as the single item narcissism scale, S-I-N-S. -I, I thought that was an appropriate acronym. And this was developed by researchers Brad Bushman and Collie, who published their findings in this journal called PLOS One, E-L-O-S One. So you're gonna ask, why does this even work? Self-perception. Narcissists typically have a really high self-regard and do not view their narcissism as negative. So they're more likely to be narcissistic and say, yeah, like this is a thing. So they see it as a trophy, so to speak. Simplicity. The direct nature of the question cuts to any fluff and it cuts through like longer assessments, providing a quick and efficient measure. And you've got self-awareness. Many narcissists are aware of their traits like, you know, here on YouTube, we've got many self-aware narcissists with their channel. And this is due to their superiority and their pride. They take pride in being, being able to say, yeah, this is me. They identify with that term. So we've also, whilst we look at the positive side of it, there are limitations to this too. Whilst this could be quite effective and a quick screen, the SINS doesn't really capture the complexity of the disorder. I mean, it just says whether that person is narcissistic or not, but it doesn't actually capture on what part of the scale this person is a narcissist because you know like narcissism is on a scale. So it's either someone who is low level or someone who is high level. And it doesn't capture the traits such as grandiosity. At what level are they grandiose? The entitlement, you know, whether they are covert or overt narcissists. What are their motivations? We don't know any of that. All we know is that that person identifies with this term and how much empathy this person has. Again, we don't know. And also you've got to look at this as well. Like how honest is a narcissist really going to be? Some of them will wear their narcissism, you know, like a pride badge, you know, they'll be like, yeah, I am one. But there are some who are covert and will not display it because it just doesn't fit in with their motivations. Maybe they are a little bit more subdued in the way that they approach their victim. And of course it depends on the narcissist whether they're gonna answer honestly. And also you've got to understand that narcissism is a personality disorder and who wants to identify as being personality disordered. Society doesn't look at this favorably. Okay, so like some people will wanna hide it, like some narcissists will wanna hide that. So it's not gonna be something that they are willing to get out there and be proud of. Some do, but some don't. So to really be honest, I mean, 
the whole thing, okay, it really just depends on that person's honesty and how far they identify with this statement. I mean, this is a great scale. Yes, it's a, it's a question, you know, that you, that can be asked, but I'm not saying that you need to ask this question to someone who you might think is narcissistic. You might offend someone who doesn't identify with that. And also, Another thing, if you've got a covert narcissist and you ask them this question and they're not willing to disclose this information, are you going to initiate rage, fear, like, is this person going to, you know, come at you? That, that makes this situation or this, this whole interaction not safe for you to be around. I'm not saying that this is something that you should use on everyone or call someone that because, again, it's not name dropping. It's not trying to put labels on people. But you know, I've always said you never call a narcissist out. Don't don't do that. Like you see these traits, you see that there's something not right. Like intuition tells you that there's something not right. This isn't about you calling this person out, because that person, I mean, what are they going to admit to you? Especially if you're having an argument and you ask this question, and you know, it's not safe for you to do that. Okay, um, it's going to bring about. A lot of unwanted um, emotions, you know, responsibility of you having to calm a situation down. That's not what this is about, okay? It's just a research study that was done, and this is what they found. It's not a replacement for comprehensive diagnostic tools or anything like that. It was just something that, uh, you know, these people used this scale for this person, you know, to be able to kind of explore this talk about this, you know, it's, it's efficient, it serves the purpose, but it isn't something that I would suggest that you do or you necessarily use or you necessarily call someone or label someone as this. Look, at the end of the day, you've identified this person as having narcissistic tendencies and that's it, okay? It's about you being safe, calling someone out, not a good idea and it will lead to more heartbreak and pain and possibly difficulty for you so keep yourself safe at all times guys if you are going through anything like this please know that i do offer one-to-one -one consultations please see the description box below i've also got a mentorship and a journal club again if you want to join want to know more information please see the description box below Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.